Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about how shorts are out of liquidity to create synthetics, how they are already defaulting, and the boom phase for AMC and many more in this video. First, we're taking a look at this. You guys can see what happened, guys. Are you running out of liquidity to create more synthetics? Well, we take a look at the shares available to borrow for AMC, and we're seeing it right now at 100 shares available. Now, this was starting from 350,000, and it dropped all the way to 100 shares for AMC. It peaked at 900,000, obviously, at one point. Now, there's obviously a lot of arguments about this, a lot of ways you can view this. One way is obviously understanding that they are running out of synthetics to create for AMC because we know that in reality there is not that many shares available to be borrowed for um, these shorts because again the majority of retail investors who hold the majority of the flow are not lending out their shares and yet every day we're seeing so many shares available to borrow it shows the fact that obviously they are creating synthetics for shorts to borrow and that's something we've known for a very long time but also is to understand is that going from 900,000 to 100 means the fact that whilst they are creating the synthetic shares for AMC, we can still see that they are in drastic need of AMC shares. And again, you can understand that with what's about to happen, which we'll be talking about how liquidity, how they're defaulting, the boom phase for AMC, and of course, many more. But you guys can see how firstly, this gives, gives us two indications. They are still in need of big amounts of shares of AMC. And whilst they are creating synthetics, it does look like they are running out of liquidity to be creating synthetics for AMC. You can see that actually shown with what we're seeing from AMC today, actually up 10.12% understanding that right now again when they don't have the money to be creating the synthetics for amc they don't seem to have that power to suppress amc as much as they normally would do but furthermore is to talk about this now previously we actually covered this which is talking about the DTCC's FICC issued an important notice last week, Friday, to participants regarding a service update imposing a special charge for volatile market events, where we talked about how they're increasing the charge for their um, VAR. Now, understanding this is what we, some of the stuff we talked about, the value at risk, and we talked about in terms of um, the fact they need to do this means that they are running out of money themselves and they want to limit the possibilities of firms defaulting by making um, limitations like this. But another perspective that I want to put in is understanding this. If FICC is making this change specifically for economic indicator information being released, it leads me to believe that they have already been helping participating netting members more than they want to as it relates to their margin accounts. So what we're talking about right now is the understanding that there are already firms close to defaulting, there are already firms potentially close to being margin called, and the FICC has been stepping in and providing them with the liquidity they need to prevent them from default, pre prevent them from liquidation of their whole portfolio. And that's why we're right now seeing FICC actually do this. The FICC is further making sure that they won't be caught with having to cover a participant member's liquidation or default, which will ultimately make a huge dent in FICC's default fund and potentially friendly, uh, threaten its ability to continue performing its market functions. Now, some of the things we've actually talked about with the FID, FICC or the DTCC is understanding that in, um, in comparison to how much exposure they have, they actually don't have the liquidity to cover all of the exposures that, um, again, they've listed. And so understanding this is right now, they don't want to be caught with having to cover a part participating member's liquidation or default. Because again, we know that that they don't have enough money right now to cover each and every single one of the participants. They may only have enough money to cover one or two, but it means that if one part of participants were to default, were to liquidate, that that means all of the money will go towards that course and they won't have any money left at all to help any other members. And that's why they're making these charges. And that's why they're making these new rules. And this allows us to understand right now that again, we are seeing firms in a situation where they're running out of liquidity, they're close to defaulting, they're close to being liquidated, they're close to margin calls, and the clearing houses, the um, backing members who are 
providing these liquidity are also in a place of struggle right now and that itself is what we've been looking at and it's understanding that when we go back to what we talked about at the start about how they're running of liquidity it starts to make sense of understanding why they can't be creating synthetics anymore when we're seeing again the clearing houses the backing members such as the FICC to obviously be running out of liquidity themselves and it's afraid to be giving their liquidity to other members because they're trying to prepare for what's about to happen so you guys can see how obviously this goes hand in hand furthermore what we can see is this so obviously we understand that short selling carries significant risk and we also understand that the short sellers can't close their positions again some of the reasons is firstly lack of liquidity if the stock is thinly traded they might not be able to buy back enough shares to cover their short position short squeeze which is again the biggest reason is that if many short sellers are trying to cover their position at the same time it can drive up the price temporarily making it expensive to close the position so we know that these are obviously the reason for why shorts don't want to be um, covering amc and also why they can't close the amc but furthermore what we need to understand right now is this the accumulation zone is a term in technical analysis that refers to a period where investors are predominantly buying or accumulating a stock often despite a falling price this suggests that investors believe the stock is undervalued and anticipate a price increase in the future a similar situ situation was observed with AMC entertainment in december 2020 when the stock company's price was highly volatile due to a shelf offering to sell 50 million shares this was a strategy to raise funds during a challenging time for the theater industry as we approach a potential boom phase where the stock price is expected to rise significantly fear uncertainty and doubt will increase and what we've seen already is how the FUD has already been increasing which we'll be talking about later on as well how they're talking about how AMC is going to be delisted which again we'll be covering that but furthermore it's understanding this right now again the accumulation zone if we take a look at this right now some random fund bought 14,500 shares of AMC probably not enough to lend but enough to make a decent amount during a squeeze event so just like previous times when we saw firms accumulating into AMC, we're seeing that same situation happen again right now. We're seeing firms actually buy into AMC right now as well. And again, it isn't just with one firm, two firms, it's with a majority of firms that already hold on to shares of AMC. And you guys can see this, they often despite a falling price. And again, they will buy into AMC despite AMC falling. And you can see that with many firms, you can see how firms who are averaged in right now at potentially 70 or $80 of sh um, per share of AMC are still buying into AMC. They're not getting rid of the AMC to cut their losses, but rather they're buying into AMC because they understand about what's about to happen. And that's how we know that firms are accumulating for the boom phase for AMC. Now, what you guys can see is this. Imagine shorting a company at $72, shorting all the way down to 24 cents and still not closing your position. Most shorts cover after a 10 to 20% return. They haven't closed their position because they can't close their position. And this is to talk about and understand is that firstly, the point we made here about how they can't close the position, why they haven't closed the position, but also to understand right now is that again, because of the fact they can't close their position and because of the fact they're facing a liquidity problem right now, it's why we're seeing AMC being suppressed, is why we're seeing the FUD happening. You guys can also see one way of desperation where we talked about, again, understanding they don't have the liquidity to create synthetics anymore. Now, what we can see is this. Now that the short thesis is dying, they change the narrative to we will be delisted, lol, no longer bankrupt. And you can see Biggins actually say this. So this is obviously the new narrative on AMC. Now that AMC isn't going to go bankrupt, they say that AMC is going to get delisted. Now again, this is what we talked about, uh, which actually is the same thing as going bankrupt. One of the things we talked about is the only way for shorts to get out of this position is that if AMC were to go bankrupt and no longer be tradable, therefore they don't need to pay back their short shares anymore and again the same will work if amc were to be delisted however that's if amc were to be delisted if we take a look at everything that's happening for amc right now there is not a single indication there is not a single sign right now which shows that amc will get delisted again there isn't even a sign which is showing amc is going to go towards bankruptcy because what we can see is obviously again money being raised we have a healthy cash pile again we're seeing the fundamentals being improved showing that we're going to be profitable very very soon and so amc right now again 
Experiencing the FUD is due to the reason they want you to sell your shares so that they can actually cover their shares. And again, all of this is for the sake of the fact that they can't close their position. And again, it all goes down to this because if they could close their positions, then they won't be creating so many synthetics every single day to the point where they're running out of money to be create, creating synthetics. Also to the fact is that if they did have, um, it's because of the fact they have so many shorts that right now we're seeing FICC actually taking up charges, actually charging people to make sure that they're not facing a problem where a firm get exposed to over leveraged short positions to billions of synthetics and that they have to spend all of their money to help this one member to cover the dent because again, they understand what will happen if AMC shorts when they have to cover the billions of synthetics. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.